Hello, I'm Christian Brewer from Barton Marine and today I'm going to talk about our removable main sheet traveller system and the advantages of it and how to fit it. Now this was brought about some five years ago to overcome the problem of having a main sheet system on the coach roof and for them not being able to reach the main sheet. And this is a way of uh, bringing the main sheet control back to the helms person, yet completely removable for when you're in the harbour and you've got the table up and you're entertaining. And the system comprises of one metre of beam track, traveller car, end fittings, and also two end plates. Now this is the clever bit, the end plate. These are fixed to the side of the cockpit vertically and with the aid of this locking button the traveller system is easily removable. Now we provide the kit with the end stop on one side pre-drilled and pre-tapped. So this is exactly right for fitting one disc and then we ask you to fit both discs, measure the distance carefully and then cut the beam track to fit between the two end plates and you're allowed up to four millimetres of tolerance. So careful measuring required. So tools required, you'll need um, a drill, suitable drill, got an electric one here, with a drill bit for M6 screws which we use to affix the end plates. Um, you'll need a spanner and screwdriver and then a suitable sealant to stop water ingress, um, silicone, and also where we've got stainless touching aluminium uh, galvanic paste is always useful. Also you're going to need a backing plate for the um, mounting blocks. Um, typically you can use, use a hardwood board um, and it's best to bond it on the inside of the cockpit locker but we can show you all about that in a minute. So let's now show you how we fit it. So first job is to mount our end plates in the cockpit. Um, now not all cockpit sides are vertical and we need to get this as vertically mounted as possible. So you may have to make up a, a backing plate for the end plate. Now this is to pack out and bring the end plate level. I've used uh, an ordinary uh, domestic chopping board. It's made out of nylon. That's a good way of, uh, a good cheap way to uh, pack out the plate or you can use hardwood, it's entirely up to you. But you can shape, you need to shape this um, backing plate to bring the end plate vertical. Now you're also going to need a backing plate for inside the locker, and that can be uh, plywood or hardwood, which really needs to be bonded to the side to spread the load. So this goes into the cockpit locker, this needs to be bonded into place. Um, I, ideally it should be a minimum of 250 millimetres by 250 millimetres. And as you can see on this boat we are slightly restricted in space but it should be okay as it's a thick sided cockpit locker. So a bit of work to do there, a bit of bonding and then you can come to mount the end plate. So with the backing plate bonded in position we can now mark and position our end plate and drill the holes to accept M6 screws and then we've already prepared our uh, packing piece here pre-drilled so we can mount the plate onto the packing piece and then onto the side of the cockpit and we do this for both sides so we're just tightening up the screws here on the end plate We've already put some silicon in the holes and the cockpit locker side. We've used a bit of galvanic paste where the stainless steel screws go through the aluminium. And there, th there we are, we're good to go. We've fitted our end plates. We've now cut our beam track to length. We've also drilled and tapped our second end fitting to the correct position. And uh, you see that we've added our control lines. Um, we've, we leave that to you to put those on. You can choose your own colour. So to mount, introduce on one side. Second side, we're in, ready to go. To unmount, press the pin beneath the beam track. 
and release like so. So now we're ready to go sailing. We recommend the fitting of a snap hook on the bottom of your main sheet block. Clip in. Ready to sail. End of the day. Clip out. Clip on the rail. Easy. So now you've seen how simple it is to fit our removable traveller system. And this has proved really popular with so many boat owners across the world. And you can purchase this through your local Chandler, uh, whichever country you're in. It's a regular product in our catalogue. Um, full fitting instructions can be found on our website www.bartonmarine.com. Another great product from Barton Marine. So we're just tightening up the screws here on the end plate. We've already put some silicon in the holes and the cockpit lock aside. We've used a bit of galvanic paste where the stainless steel screws go through the aluminium. And there, th there we are, we're good to go.